Hi right, guys, Office Bloke Dave here. I hope you're all doing great out there today. I'm enjoying delving into all types of music on this channel. It's great broadening my horizons. Metal is my thing. There's going to be plenty of metal, don't worry about that. There's going to be hip-hop as well. But just broadening my horizons keeps me excited as well and sort of reignited that passion for music again in me, which uh, it died some years ago, probably just before I became a dad. I was like just on the upward with music again, playing music especially. And then it was like, phew, sold all my guitars, didn't have the time. Getting back into it slowly, I'm trying. There's potentially some cover versions on the way um, on this channel. So stay tuned for that and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on it. But uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying everything, if I'm being honest. There are a few songs specifically I've not been a big fan of. And I always will say, if I don't particularly like something, I'm not here to... Uh, to shit on anyone's music but I'm also going to be constructive if I don't particularly like it because not everything's for me at the end of the day um, but that being said I've been enjoying voice play so far and I didn't realise and I've said this on the other voice play ones that we'd reacted to him over at Office Box React at one point we did Oogie Boogie's song and didn't really like it if I'm being honest we didn't know what it was kind of caught us off guard whereas if we would have reacted to some of the other voice play stuff it would have shown us who they actually were and then that would have made a bit more sense but uh yeah i'm just enjoying delving into them now because they're ridiculously talented people and uh i like that they have um guests as well so i can't remember the guy's name janon that's the one um yeah i like the fact that it's not just them you can get someone else and i'm usually never heard of the people i've got with them <laughs> Let's do this though. This is new from Voice Play. It is Voice Play featuring Anthony Gargiula. Gargiula. Seven Nation Army by the White Stripes. Let's, uh, let's check it out together. Taking their time right behind my back And I'm talking to myself at night Because I can't forget No Back and forth through my mind Behind a cigarette And the message coming from my heart Says leave it alone Leave it alone This is interesting. It's definitely more produced than some of the other songs. There's a few editing tricks and stuff. Not saying in a bad way or taking anything away from the vocals whatsoever, but there's definitely um, some interesting things going on. That I can't put my finger on yet. Like the the thing I've just gone back a little bit, but then it's gone into that. Doo, 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 doo. That's the only way I can describe it. You wouldn't believe that I actually studied sound engineering at one point. Um, the two things that are standing out the most, though, the lead vocal, which I'm guessing is, um, I've forgotten his name already, the guy that I just butchered his name about a minute ago. And then those lows, like, Jesus Christ, you can't, it's hard to hear anything else when you just get the, ooh, that's, again, I've got a deep voice and that's as low as I could go. Yeah, I'm loving it. And the feeling coming from my bones is fine, bro. There.
Yeah, that was awesome. Always the same with voice play though. The lows just blow my mind. And uh, the whole vocal performance is always great. But the lows just stand out because <clears throat> you don't hear many people do that really. I would like to know if anyone knows about the sort of mixing process that goes into a song like this. Or I suppose it's not going to be sort of what I'm thinking is the actual mixing engineer or the producer may have a video with the multi-track and maybe explain a couple of little tricks they did there. I feel like one of the vocals was kind of in a sampler and then it was being played, you know, like on a pad. Um, yeah, it was interesting. and it, it sort of ignites the uh, audio nerd in me to know things like that. Because, yeah, there was a fair bit went into that, I think. I also... Um, when we spoke to, when we had Bass Ventura on the channel a couple of years ago over at Office Box React, uh, he explained that sometimes beatboxers will actually separate, they'll separate the sort of beatboxing onto separate channels. So there'll be kick, snare, hi-hat, and it'll actually be edited in such a way that it's all on multiple channels. And then you can boost the snare and you can sort of mix it in a very similar way to how you would mix a drum kit. Which makes a lot of sense if you really want the beatboxing to sort of pop. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that. So anyone in voice play watches this, let me know or send me the multi-track. I'd absolutely love to see it. But yeah, anyway, I've waffled on too much. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments section. Make sure you like and subscribe and all that good stuff. You can also get a bit of merch if you want. The hats are available down there if you click on the link in the description. And I'll see you again soon. Cheers.